Hey guys, welcome to another episode of DigiArt Tutorials. My name is James, and today we're going to start our Perspective 101 series. Now, learning perspective has the reputation of kind of being a pain in the butt, but it really can be easy if you just simplify it a little bit. So perspective, in the art world at least, is a system that allows you to create the illusion of 3D on a flat surface. And a fancier way of saying that is that perspective is a system for drawing used in creating the illusion of three-dimensional volume and depth onto a two-dimensional surface. Now there's really two big parts to perspective. There's linear perspective and atmospheric perspective. This video has more to do with linear perspective, but we'll cover more about atmospheric in another one. Linear perspective uses a cool little principle called diminution, which basically means things appear to get smaller as they move away from the viewer. Let's use a simple layout in 3D space to describe basic perspective definitions. And let's start with the picture plane and the ground plane. The picture plane is essentially a flat imaginary plane between the viewer and the object that is being viewed. Just imagine a picture frame floating in 3D space and that's basically a picture plane. It's a vertical rectangle that represents the infinite plane that extends beyond that rectangle. It's also the working space for your drawing, painting, photograph, etc. And the ground plane is pretty much the ground. Just like the picture plane, the ground plane is an infinite plane. The ground line represents the place where the ground plane and the picture plane intersects. The ground line can also be used as a horizontal measuring line, but we'll get more into measuring lines in other videos. Now the horizon line is simply a line that represents the viewer's eye level. Simple as that. The actual eye of the viewer is called the station point. Now think of the viewer as shooting a laser from his eye right onto the picture plane. That straight line from the viewer's eye or station point onto the picture plane is called the distance line, or sometimes called the line of sight. It's important to remember that the distance line is always perpendicular to the picture plane no matter how the viewer's head turns. That means the picture plane and the distance line move whenever the viewer turns his head. The point where the distance line hits the picture plane is called the center of vision. It represents a point on the picture plane that's opposite the viewer's eye. It's right smack in the middle of where the viewer is looking. The true height line represents the actual true height of an object. It's a line that's used to find the height of any object that is in the scene. For example, any object that is in front of the picture plane will appear taller, and an object behind the picture plane will appear smaller. So the height of an object when it's directly on the picture plane will be its true height, thus the true height line. The cone of vision is the area on the picture plane that can be seen or drawn without distortion. Apparently some guy decided long ago that the cone extends out 60 degrees from the viewer's eye. The end of that cone basically forms an ellipse on the picture plane. And the center of the cone of vision is the center of vision, obviously, and really is the only place where you have true perspective. As a general rule, the farther and farther away you get from the center of vision, the more distortion you're going to have. A vanishing point is a point in perspective where parallel lines converge. These converging lines to vanishing points are what make something look 3D. A measuring point is a point on the horizon line that is the same distance to the vanishing point as the station point is to the vanishing point. I know that last one sounds a tad confusing, but we'll cover more about vanishing points and measuring points when we cover one point, two point, and three point perspective. But those are the general definitions. I know that's a lot of information in a small amount of time, but those are the basic perspective terms in a nutshell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.